Hey everyone, no respawns. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make Funky Fort in Fortnite. So this is this is in the first of the fort building areas. This is the Storm Shield in what is it, Stonewood, which is the effectively incredibly long tutorial area. Um, I haven't actually gotten out of it yet. I'm only like power level six or something. However. Apparently there are three other areas. I have named it Caliban in the corner because I am a well Warhammer 40k fuck boy. And what are you what what are you what are you doing? Judging me. I'm gonna name the others in case you're curious. Uh, I've gotta be call them Deliverance, Medusa, and Nostramo. I don't know which orders. Makes for cool fort names. I've always done it. It works really well. Anywho, that tangent aside. So the whole premise for this one is I wanted something that looked very much like a fort, as in towers, walls, all that jazz but also was quite efficient in game and also obviously wanted to make it as good looking as possible. I've decided to make this out of your standard metal. Um, I've only recently realized actually, and many, many of you might not know this because you haven't gotten this far in the skill tree, but you can actually upgrade and reinforce each of the materials. I think up to level three, I've only got level two. So I've started, you don't see it in this video, but I have actually started reinforcing the walls with newer steel basically and it's cool because it actually changes the texture as well so right now it's this kind of really scrappy green texture and then the upgraded one is quite a, still scrappy ish but it's kind of a bit more of kind of your standard silvery gray metal color um i do miss the scrappiness i'm not gonna lie i might mix and match the scrappiness in but just as a warning that does cost a huge amount of steel or metal rather Anywho, so as you can see, it, it, it's a pretty standard affair, this. I'm also doing this during a mission, as you can see. So it's one of the Storm Shield defense missions. So activate the Storm Shield to defend. And I've got um, matey boy meandering over there. I don't actually do the mission in this video. I was tempted to make a video on it. I do, but quite simply, because this is one of the effective tutorial ones, it just wasn't very exciting. <laughs> quite simply, but it would just be a video of me shooting, solo shooting, because my friend was busy. And also the Fred matchmaker isn't working properly. However, but also it would just be, it was just a video of me just shoot. It worked really well, basically. It wasn't very riveting, <laughs> uh, but it was fun to build. I know for a fact, according to Reddit and the place of forums I've read, that the defenses do get quite manic. For example, I've already started having it on the last it was like a level 5 power mission that I did solo, and it was quite insane. I don't know why I spent so long with this staircase. Why did I spend so long with this staircase? No idea. I don't remember spending this long with the staircase. I think I was a little bit... Uh, there we go. There it is. So the only part that's a little bit quirky with this build is... So these. So what I've got done, right? As you can see, so I've got like a platform. Right, yeah, you can see what this is. A big platform, yeah. And as you can see, it, it's one square on the outside of the main tower block, right? That That's the kind of the distance we're looking at here. Which, what I mean is that it's that seems quite simple. However, I got really... I eventually merge it with the tower next to it, and it got a little bit confusing in terms of the actual positioning. However, it, it's pretty straightforward, and I will explain to it. Just kind of just focus on being one square to the side of your your main tower bit and you should be fine and good to go. I'm probably making the whole thing sound needlessly complex. However, I was a little bit confused and just want to draw attention to it because it occurs to me it is quite hard to follow. But it looks cool and that's grand. I still want to add more to this by the way. This isn't the this isn't the final form, shall we say, of my my fort because I want to kind of add bits to it. Currently right now I like I like the whole the way it looks, but I I found See, because we don't have decorations in Fortnite at all. I mean, t traps, kind of, I guess. But we don't have, you know, furniture flags, all that jazz, you know, kind of stuff to kind of add a bit more character to the buildings. I hope they do add them. I'm not even bothered if they're, you know, part of their... If you unlock them like you do schematics, that would be probably the best way of doing it. Shove them in the llamas and let us unlock them like we do schematics so I can add flags and posters and shit. Be grand. But basically, so I want to add texture right and that's kind of the thing i've been kind of paying attention to the most you'll see it when we get to the the front of these little doorways i, I kind of add pointless things and it's good and i want to add more stuff like that i'll, I'll point out the pointless things when we get there 
This is me having a decision on a particular pointless thing, in fact. I end up just settling with windows. Spoiler. I also add lots of traps. I'm having so much fun with traps, seriously. Don't be frugal with your traps, people. Traps are fun. Traps are great fun. Don't be frugal. Have fun with traps. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was really, you know, I was um, treating my traps like I treated rare grenades in a first-person shooter, you know? Playing Deus Ex or something like that. And I was like, oh, an EMP grenade. Never going to use it because I want to hoard them because they're magical and special. And... That's why I was treating my traps. Don't. Just just use them up. One, because you have limited inventory space and it's better than recycling them. Well, it's not. It's more fun than recycling them. And also, they're fun. Last defense I had, little fort I made, absolute mess. Because in my mission forts are quite messy. I will show you a good setup for a mission fort, by the way. It's pretty simple. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but looks cool. So I sped up a little bit, as you can see. So I didn't want to show you literally every single thing that I do. Because obviously there's so much repetition in this build. Because kind of the the three sides and the back bit are actually mirroring each other. So obviously I didn't want to... Like the tower's just the same tower and the same bit. So I just... I kind of show you a lot of it. See what I'm right here? Like that kind of little viewing kind of area there for my gunners. And also I've got these kind of little supports under here. I think supports are the way to go forward with kind of adding a little bit more texture. I'm going to find new and interesting techniques. I'm kind of harking back mentally in my mind back to the back to the potentially shameful days when I used to play Minecraft and um, adding texture to some of the uglier block castles that I used to make and things like that. So it's it's kind of like thing. Annoyingly, so I saw the reason why I did this right is because I'd seen the um seen loads of the trailers. So I've got, you know, the, obviously the windy path where they're going down, right? And they've got all the traps and everything. And I've seen the trailers and I thought, oh, yeah, yeah. And all the gameplay videos. And like, oh, they'll wander through that. They kind of did. But in this defense, they kind of wandered up to the first wall there. And then I think a couple, like maybe a fifth of them would wander to the second level. But most of them would try and... Cause they're, not very, they're not very smart, the zombies. Or husks, they're called. And they tried to just... They didn't bother walking around. I mean, the traps everywhere. One of the things I've started doing in my forts now as well, like my mission forts, is adding little roofs just so I can put ceiling traps over. Because they're just good fun. Ceiling traps are great fun. I love ce ceiling traps and floor traps. And then one wall trap that fires darts. You're good to go, mate. You're good to go. So here's another, here's another tower. It's mostly towers, to be honest. It's mostly towers. Don't worry, there is, um, just the record, there is a tour at the end. Or I show you exactly what I'm doing. So here we go. What I was mentioning about the walkway. So I, when I decided, right, I'm going to merge these two. The mistake I make, and you'll probably see me make it in this initially, but then I fix it. Is that I forgot where the... I wasn't paying attention where the actual... The, the, the main kind of bridge of the tower was. So I didn't end up making one side. It's just literally the side focusing. What was it? The west side isn't actually overhanging. It looks really silly okay. from the bottom. But I fix it, because all you have to do is just edit the pieces. One thing I like about this, even though we can't destroy any of the buildings yet. We, well, we can, but we have to use a pickaxe. We can't store them or anything like that. I do like the fact that we can kind of re-edit and change bits. For example, like what I've done in since this video is where the towers are, I've turned the, the middle level to archways because that way when people are going up the stairs they can kind of also take a couple of pot shots that was the that was the that was the premise anyway so as you can see right here it's, it's kind of vaguely not really exactly right but i'll show you i fix it now so it looks all better oh i fix it in a minute anyway the fixing is coming if i remember correctly i do actually fall off the tower i did cut that out so you don't see me i fall off this tower so much by the way I don't know, because um, with this with this particular hero, he has the charge ability, um, and I keep accident because I'm using a controller, I keep accidentally pressing the charge ability when I'm trying to scroll through uh, my building pieces, and he keeps charging himself off the edge. Here we go, here's where I notice it's all messed up. It's pretty simple what I do. It's all I've just done and done. It's just the west side. I've kind of buggered up a little bit. So it's just here, and then boom. I just didn't extend it out, that was it. And I was getting so confused for ages as to why this doesn't look right. I'm quite pleased that I merged these towers. I wasn't too sure if I'd like it, but it makes it easier because I wanted the the kind of the three part symmetry going around the castle at the, the fort, and it's not really a castle yet, is it? Let's be honest, <laughs> around the fort, and but at the same time, 
kind of not look weird and it works so well. Anyway, so here is just how I defend the storm shield proper. I just literally surround it by a roof and then put a little bit of a chimney at the tops. Pre pretty simple. You'll see everything properly in the tall, don't worry. And I, I do walk around. I want to add more bits to this, though. I want to add a bit more text to the set. That's that's the thing. I also really love walking around this. There's traps everywhere as well. I mean, all down the bottom level. And then what I've got to done is I've added loads of... Uh, what do you call it? Maybe boys, what are they called? Little healing pads. And I've also got the defender up here as well. Who The defender who was pretty useless. She just kind of... She shot a little bit and I gave her loads of ammo. But she didn't actually help very much. Anyway, here it is. I also switch to my soldier as well because I'm about to play the mission. So see, I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. It's a solid build. I think I think there's more stuff I could add. You see where I've got those towers. What I end up doing is I end up editing those so they're archways on the kind of the, the upper level just before the main kind of the top of the tower because that way you can just see the staircase. It just adds a little bit more text to the outside. There's see I've also added spike wall spikes on pretty much all of the barricades and now that obviously since I recorded this earlier today I've also reinforced everything so it's now level two all of the bottom level stuff is level two the upper level isn't just because it requires shit tons of steel and I don't have that much steel yet <laughs> but yeah I'm quite pleased with how everything's turned out it says it, it defends really really well it's quite easily defensible defends really really well honestly and um, it'll be kind of fun. I'm, currently, I was going to have my friend join me to kind of for a defense on this. But as you know, there have been a bit of a mess up with the actual inviting friends to group thing. So unfortunately, until that's fixed, I can't actually test it out with groups. However, it does look cool. What I wanted to do as well, and I might edit these towers a little bit. Because you've got those little box that, you, um, those kind of jump blocks that you can kind of jump between distances. And I was thinking of putting those so you can actually jump between the towers. But the problem is, because of the, the way I've done the floors, I can't actually fit any of them on. It looks like you can, but, but you can't, basically. So, I might, I might get onto that, I'm not too sure. We will see, we will see. But other, regardless, it looks pretty badass. Let me hurt myself. There are traps everywhere. Everywhere. And I've added more as well. There are so many traps. It is literally just a fortress of death. As I said, I would like to add more decoration. This is the weakest part of the entire build. Just because of the fact that it's not on a hill, it means that whereas the other two, the husks, for the most part, come up one part of the of the fortress. On this area, they actually come out to that side here. This is obviously just... I did decorate this outside a little bit, but it's not really defensible. I just put little kind of little huts on the side. More just for aesthetics than anything else. A couple of traps just so it looks matches and there's a bit of symmetry to see if you've got some more traps there as well so anyway i hope you guys liked that and it gives you a few ideas on how to actually kind of style your fort as i said i tried to keep it kind of high detail but also kind of believable -ish. anyway as always follow me on twitter at no response i have a new video up soon and you guys enjoy the rest of your week you take care